Today we're going to talk about the Beast Monarch and give a little bit more detail than the Monwa did. The Beast Monarch's personality was probably one of the most confident, the most arrogant, the most vicious uh, character in the series. And you could see that through his fights, you could see that through all of his uh, time on the, the panels, that he was a very aggressive and unrelenting character. And he's definitely had that beast in him that he would go ahead and just eat like living humans. Like he would just go ahead and eat them um, while he came out into the human world. The first time we saw him was in chapter 107. And that's when, uh, you know, Sang Jebu just finished up the Jeju Island raid. And we saw him with the Frost Monarch and they basically confirmed that the Shadow Monarch was on Earth and that they needed to find him if they wanted to continue their war with the rulers. Basically, that didn't really go well with them, so what they did is they went ahead, or the Beast Monarch went ahead and tried to kill Christopher Reed, which they did exceed in doing uh, with the other three monarchs that were on Earth at the time. They destroyed him in his own home. They tried to open the realms to let their armies, the monarch realms of, you know, the beast, um, the insects, and then the frost, uh, plane um, and it didn't work well for them because they tried to they almost killed uh, Sung Jin Woo they almost did what they did instead is that they opened or awakened the powers of Shadow Monarch inside of Sung Jin Woo so then after that they kind of got their asses whooped but the thing to realize is that the abilities that the Beast Monarch had were able to he was the only one that was able to actually pierce uh, Sung Jin Woo um, so some of the abilities that were gonna that the Beast Monarch had is that he had immense strength Like I was saying that he was able to pierce a hole through Sung Jin Woo Even though it didn't work out in the end, uh, he got brutally destroyed he, he still had that immense strength that allowed him to you know pierce probably one of the strongest persons in the manhwa basically um, And he also had immense durability because every time he fought against Sung Jin Woo He would like he would get sliced up. He would get destroyed um, but he was able to regenerate, which is another power. He had, dur dur he had durability and regeneration. So it was one of the <laughs> very beneficial power to have during a fight with Sung Jin Woo, he could just literally destroy you. And then he also had immense speed because he was able to keep up with Thomas Andre. He was able to keep up with Sung Jin, Sung Jin Woo before he was awakened. So a, a good repertoire of speed. Um, you know, it's a little difficult to say how fast they were actually going in the Manu, you know, in the later fights. Um, but you know, maybe they were going as fast as shadows, who knows? <laughs> it's that he was able to transform into a gigantic white werewolf. Um, you know, maybe that gave him, you know, a, you know, a Zenkai boost, you know, maybe that was multiply he multiplied his power by 10 or like Kyo Kaioken or something. We don't really know because Sung Jin Woo just completely destroyed him in four hits. But we do know that it might have, you know, Mace basically gave him more power because the spiritual manifestation is supposed to, you know, basically be a power boost and you're able to use your power to your full extent in the human world, basically. So we do know that the spiritual manifestation allowed him to turn into a giant werewolf, but we don't really know how powerful that spiritual manifestation was. So um, let me know in the comments below if you guys know, um, but I, I th this basically wraps up, you know, how the personality of the Beast Monarch was, his abilities, um, what scenes he had in the Manwa. Um, but let me know in the comments below if you guys have anything more to add or if you guys know about his more in-depth details about his spiritual manifestation. Maybe I'll do a, a, a redo video, video in the future, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Go.